rocket to Earth. Come in, please. We request an update on our position. Moon rocket, you have just cleared the Earth's magnetic field. Then we wouldn't be here to talk about it. My dear fellow, if it were only that simple. But it's far more serious than that. We'd have to start our calculations all over again. Thundering typhoons. Fine, then. Captain, why don't you try to relax? 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 How am I supposed to relax stuck in this tin can? But, Captain, think of it. We're going to the moon. It's a dream come true. A dream? All this mumbo-jumbo and jiggery-pokery is no dream of mine. Just give me the first piece of solid rock that comes along. Ah! Ah, here you are. Whatever happened? An earthquake? Earth to moon rocket? What's going on up there? What in the blistering blue blazes are you two doing here? We decided to make one final inspection before takeoff. The rocket left Earth half an hour ago. We're on our way to the moon. <laughs> A.M. Not P.M. A.M. Hmm. This poses a bit of a dilemma. We assessed our oxygen supplies for four people. Now there's six. You hear that, you dinosaurs? We're gonna run out of oxygen all because you can't tell the difference between morning and night. Misery of miseries. Stop sniveling like that. You're making carbon dioxide. I'm going below. I've got important work to do. And don't you come down gulping up my oxygen. Good old Snowy. I don't mind sharing my air with you. You need to be alone to understand a subject like this. It takes a lot of concentration. Ah, a nice cool drink would go down well. Mm. To the moon! Thundering typhoons. Get back in my glass this minute. Blistering barnacles. If I touch you, Snowy, you're it. Uh oh. Steady on. Everybody. Holding on! Look, Snowy, it's magic! No! Ouch! <laughs> ah! Ten thousand thundering typhoons! Ouch! That does it! La -de -da, la -de -da. I see him, Professor! Ahoy, land lover! I'm making my way over now! Careful, Tintin! Don't let him drift too far! We're dangerously close to that asteroid! Captain, can you hear me? Of course I can hear you! What do you think I am? Deaf? I'm going to shoot you a line! Grab hold of it so I can pull you back on board! Forget it! I'm not going back onto that rocket! If I fire over him, maybe he'll float into it. I'm going home! Oh no! It's going to miss him! Tintin, you must hurry! The rocket is entering Adonis's magnetic field! We're going to be pulled into orbit! Captain, you heard that! Please, come back before it's too late! Come back! Not on your life! Look! Home! I'm going! Save the rocket! Save yourselves! We'll be okay as long as the rope holds! 
Stop tinting! Oh. Hang on, dear boy! Tintin. Oh, forget it, Captain. Can you ever forgive me? Of course. But please try and be more careful in the future, Captain. You could have killed us all. <sighs> There's no excuse. I'm just a miserable... Ah! Now what? Come, quickly! Huge yellow caterpillars! What? Great snakes! Thompson and Thompson! <laughs> <laughs> They're experiencing another attack of Formula 14. Oh, yeah. The pills from Chemodite. Land of the Black Gold. <laughs> I've concocted an antidote from the rocket's emergency supplies. I'm not sure if it will be successful, but at least our friends are not in pain. Fortunately not. None at all. <laughs> yes! Snowy! Snowy, let go! Hold on, detectives! And when anyone asks me later on, Paddock, what was your job on the rocket? I'll say, me? Why, I was the hairdresser. Thundering typhoons. A mop like this doesn't need a pair of scissors, it needs a lawnmower. <laughs> What's so funny? If you think you look more dignified than your esteemed colleague, you got another thing coming. Oh. There. That's finished. Oh, look! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Down, bristlebacks, centipedes, shaggy-haired dogs! Rah! Captain, we're about to cut the engines. Have you got your magnetic boots on? What's he talking about? These boots. They stop you from floating. Yours are over there. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero! <laughs> Blistering barnacles! We're ready, Captain. Roger, Tintin. Depressurizing now. Stand by. Opening door. I'm hoping they might be rich in important minerals. 
Wish us luck. We'll be back within two hours. Okay, Professor. Goodbye. Whoa, it's hot under this flower pot. I'm positively melting. Ah, it's much better without the helmet and all that paraphernalia. The captain is just connecting the small emergency batteries so that we can get back to base. See you soon. Over and out. Five. Six. Mercy, Colonel. Tintin, Tintin, where are you? Here, Captain. Blister and barnacles. Where did this jack pudding come from? Wolf, please tell me this is all a misunderstanding, isn't it? I'm so sorry, Professor. And to think that this bashy bazooka has been helping himself to our oxygen. Snowy! He's been hurt, Tintin. Or oh, think it's his leg. You're right. It looks like a bad sprain. Did you hear that, you unfeeling monsters? Savages! Hurting a poor defenseless animal. Now, let Captain Haddock have a look. That doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and you believed a fairy tale like that? Oh, Wolf, if only you'd come to me sooner. It's a little late for that, Professor. Come on, you two. I'm taking you down to the hold. What? We're sharing our precious oxygen with them. They were going to leave us on the moon, Tintin. Well, I say we leave them on the moon. Captain, if we did that, we wouldn't be any different from them. So help me get them downstairs and tied up securely. What a magnificent view of the Earth. It's a pity we have to leave so soon. To tell you the truth, Tintin, I'm as pleased as punch. We're going home! Okay, that's everything. We'd better get back on board. Well, what are we waiting for? A new moon? <laughs> moon rocket, prepare for takeoff in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Here we go again! Thundering typhoons. What happened to everyone? I see the Earth is still going around without me. Oh, Captain, we decided to let you and the Thompsons sleep. It uses less oxygen. Sorry, but there are as many Thompsons downstairs as there are hairs on Cuthbert's head. Then where are they? I'll tell you where they are. Hands up! Jorgen, how did you escape? Oh, Wolf, are you still a party to this? What have you done to the Thompsons? There isn't enough oxygen for all of us. <gasps> Blistering? No, you can't do this! He's gone. I... I didn't mean to. He was the one who... I know, Wolf. It's okay. You're one of us again. I trust you. What? You trust this interplanetary pirate? This freshwater spaceman? This... Huh? What's happening? I feel faint. Dizzy. Can't catch my breath. You're feeling the effects of a lack of oxygen. Try not to get yourself worked up. Why don't you go down to your bunk and lie down for a few minutes? It'll make you feel better. Tintin's right. We should all nap for a while. It'll help conserve what oxygen we have left. Ah. Wolf! Blistering barnacles, where's Wolf? Don't worry, Captain. I know where he is. He went down to the hold. What? I thought I told you to keep an eye on him. You and your big-hearted gestures. Look what your trusting has got us into now. Down to the hold, quick. Maybe we can stop him before he gets up to his old tricks. Now, where's he hiding? Blistering. There! What did I tell you? 
He sabotaged the wires. Not so fast, Captain. It's Wolf's handwriting. By the time you read this, I shall have left the rocket. I hope you'll have enough oxygen to reach Earth alive. Wolf, he cut the wires so that the engines wouldn't stop when he opened the doors. He jumped into space to save our lives. Did you find the scoundrel? If you ever say a disrespectful remark about Wolf again, I'll send you into space to join him. Got it? Tintin, we made it. What an adventure. We're going back soon. Not with me, you're not. I'll never set foot in that flying coffin again. If there's one thing I learned from all this, man's proper oh. place. <laughs> is on the earth. <laughs>